Hey, what up, guys? It's Silver's Beast, and I'm back here to bring you another video today. And how about that amazing intro? Uh, this is a new intro made by Operation iDroid. Huge shout out to him. Uh, so go subscribe to him. Um, he's a great YouTuber. Does Infinity Blade 2 like myself, and does emulators on for iOS. So very, very cool. Uh, go subscribe to him. Love the intro. So got to give him a shout out, even though. It probably won't help him that much. Um, I have very few subscribers compared to him. But anyway, this video is going to be about Infinity Blade 3. I want to talk about it. Um, I did a video on this a while back, but I want to talk about it a little more uh, differently in this video. And uh, what we're going to talk about in this video is the story and stuff and gameplay wise and stuff like that, just overall. Um, so, yeah. So, first, let's talk about the story. Um, the story, obviously, at the end of Infinity Blade 2, Cyrus is trapped in the Vault of Tears along with Rajar, although Cyrus is trapped, his quantum identity pattern is trapped, so he can't get out, uh, even if they do find like a passage or some way. Rajar can get out if they do find a passage, and Rajar does know a passage, because if you read Infinity Blade Awakening, he goes to visit the worker and he uses a secret passage into the Vault of Tears, where they are trapped, so he can get out pretty easily. The thing is, um, are they going to work together? Are Cyrus and Rajar going to work together? I think they will. I think that Rajar will go out and um, will open the seals and free Cyrus somehow. He'll get some other Deathless to drop their QIP, but then he'd have to get the Infinity Blade unless there's some other way of transferring uh, the QIP that's trapped in this uh, soul cell. Uh, and... Um, if all this uh, mumbo jumbo is confusing you, a soul cell is a cell that traps the quantum identity pattern, which is something that Deathless have that helps them rebirth. So if your quantum identity pattern is trapped, you can't get out until you transfer that uh, those those chains, if you will, uh, onto another Deathless. Or I don't know. I think it's another Deathless. It could, I guess it could be a uh, mortal, but I don't think so. But, um, so yeah, I think they're going to work together, Cyrus and Rajar, and then, obviously, Issa is still out there, but then again, we don't know if she's deathless, and she's also not a very good fighter, as seen in the book, and I don't think we're going to play as Issa, I honestly don't. I think that it'll be a cutscene or something, showing what happens with her, but I don't think we're going to be playing as her, because she's not very good at fighting, and, um, she, uh... She's good with a bow, but I don't think we're going to be shooting arrows in Infinity Blade 3. <laughs> <coughs> but then again, I mean, Cherry stretched the story before, so we could play as her. So anything can happen, really. I'm just saying what I think will probably happen. So that's what I think is how it's going to start off story-wise. And obviously the main goal is going to be hunting down the Worker of Secrets. Uh, as a team of three or a team of two, I don't know where Issa is going to go, but... She'll probably tag along, and then Tell will be there too. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how that team works, if it does indeed become a team. But, um, so yeah, they're going to be hunting down the worker. There'll probably be another castle that he holds up in, and uh, you have to defeat some Deathless. And um, I hope we get to play as Rager R, because that would be incredible, uh, really. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, playing as Rager R, maybe like a final battle, Rager R, Cyrus, taking down the worker. I think that could be really cool. But um, anyway, let's move on to the gameplay aspect because um, I want to talk about that as well. I do think that it will be a little bit bigger, but I don't think they can make it that much bigger because as a lot of people know, the app capacity, the max capacity of an app is 2 gigabytes as uh, per Apple. So if you submit an app that's over 2 gigabytes, Apple won't accept it. So they would either have to like make it downloadable content to make it bigger, like The Walking Dead did, or I don't know. So don't I think it'll be a little bit bigger, but not like the change that Infinity Blade 2 was to Infinity Blade 1. Like Infinity Blade 2 is much bigger than Infinity Blade 1, um, but I, I think it will be a little bit bigger, but not that big of a leap. Um, and I think that there will be a staff fighting style. I do think that'll be introduced because they... Because I think I think if there is, if it is introduced, I think they make it need to make it really cool. Because right now everyone's stuck on duel, including me. Everyone loves duel. Um, 
So they need to make it really cool if they're going to introduce a new one, because, I mean, Heavy's like the bane of everyone's existence. Uh, I mean, there's a couple people that like it, but pretty much 90% of the players that play a lot don't like it at all. But, uh, yeah, so I think there will be a staff class. I think that it will be... I hope that they make it tougher than Infinity Blade 2. What I want is Infinity Blade 1 difficulty with Infinity Blade 2 size and duel and all that stuff that Infinity Blade 2 added. Because Infinity Blade 1 was definitely funner in the aspect that it was... It, it took some skill to defeat some of the enemies. Like, I, I don't like how they tout Rith as the the big, I mean, he's not the final boss of Infinity Blade 2, but I hate how they tell him as the hardest one to defeat, because he's not really. He, he, he's, his moves are easy, his step backs are all relatively simple. I, I just don't like how they tell him like that. Um, but I think that, I think that um, they will, I think that uh, it will be difficult. I, I, what I really, really want is for them to bring multiplayer back, because multiplayer Infinity Blade 1 was amazing. Although it had horrible server issues, so if they can fix those server issues and push out a really good multiplayer, I will, uh, I mean, I'll just be overwhelmed because Infinity Blade 1 multiplayer is really, really fun. I still play it to this day, and if that's Infinity Blade 3, that'll be epic. Um, and I also want them to bring survival mode back, maybe just the whole arena mode, because if you haven't played Infinity Blade 1, they had a whole arena mode where, um, you could do a survival mode, which is really cool, a multiplayer. Maybe they could have like a test mode where you can like spar against certain titans to get better at those titans. That'd be really cool. And um, yeah. Another cool idea I think would be cool is like, if you don't know, the forums have some clubs that you can join. And I think that having those clubs as achievements in the game could be really cool as well. But I'm just spitballing at this point. <laughs> I think that some of those ideas could be really cool. Uh, so let's run down. I think that Cyrus and Rajar will team up. I think that Issa and Tell will tag along and it'll be a big team. Um, although Issa and Tell won't be able to do much. I do think that a lot of new weapon class staff will have to make it really cool if they do add it though to get um, to justify adding it with Duel already in the mix. And um, I wanted to bring back Arena Mode with multiplayer and survival. And uh, yeah, so. That concludes this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this brief talk about Infinity Blade 3. That was just a basic overview. And uh, here I am dying to thane uh, on purpose. But if you want a more specific on certain aspects of this talk, uh, just leave a comment down below, and I will get to that as soon as possible. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed that awesome intro. Again, huge thanks to Operation Android. But uh, anyway, I got some let's plays coming up, or and uh, yeah, so I'm Silver's the Beast, and I'm out.